The largest ever renewable energy project in the Western Hemisphere has just begun construction in the United States. This is a historic moment. It's incredible, in fact. The size of this project is utterly mind-boggling. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Sun Zia is a massive wind power and transmission line project in the United States Southwest, where there's a lot of wind. In fact, it's one of the best places on earth for wind turbines. It's now ready to start construction. Sunzia is made up of Sunzia wind and Sunzia transmission. So this project is twofold. It's not just about wind, it's also about transmission. Imagine the project that's going on in Morocco. If you haven't heard of that, I'll have a video coming out about that very soon, where they're actually moving a lot of their energy. They have massive amounts of renewables and they're sending that all the way over to Europe. In some ways, this project resembles that a little bit. Sunzia Wind is the largest wind project in the Western Hemisphere. It's a 3,500 megawatt wind farm that goes across New Mexico's counties of Torrance, Lincoln, and San Miguel. Now, the interesting thing is a massive amount of wind generation has been put in right now in Texas. In fact, Texas has more renewable energy than any other state in the United States simply because of that reason. They have enormous amounts of wind. It's perfect. However, surprisingly, this project is not in Texas. It's actually in New Mexico. The Sunzia transmission is a 550 mile high voltage direct current transmission line between central New Mexico and south central Arizona. It has the capacity to transport 3000 megawatts of clean energy to people in Arizona and then potentially maybe one day also to California. Sunsea transmission will enable Sunsea wind to supply customers in Arizona and eventually California during early evening hours when demand is high. But the available renewable energy supply is low. It's going to use the same corridor as the Western Spirit transmission line. If you haven't heard of Western Spirit Wind, Western Spirit Wind includes four energy project sites in central New Mexico. Those are Red Cloud, Duran, Mesa, Kleins, Kleins Corners, and Tico Latte. Totaling 1,050 megawatts of installed capacity, Western Spirit Wind represents the most wind power ever constructed as a single phase in the Americas. Now, construction of the Western Spirit Wind and its accompanying transmission line entailed over 1,000 workers on site during the 15 month construction and it began operation in 2021. Getting back to this project, Sunsea's California based renewable energy developer, Patent Energy Group, said today that it's selected Hitachi Energy and Quanta Services as its engineering, procurement, and construction contractors to actually build the project. Hitachi Energy, which has delivered more than half of the HVDC project in North America, which means high voltage DC, will supply the HVDC converter stations as well as its HVDC light technology and MAC or MACH digital control platform for Sun Zia transmission. Now, it's really important to have the right digital platform to control this energy. Without the right digital services, projects like this don't really work. Hitachi's technology enables the efficient energy transfer and integration of huge volumes of renewable energy over massive long distances. Now, it's actually amazing how little they lose in terms of energy transmission losses over a huge distance. They haven't given exact numbers, but the losses appear to be very, very low. Infrastructure provider Quanta will provide a turnkey solution, says Electric, for the HVDC line. And Blattner Company, a Quanta operating company, will also provide turnkey solutions for Sunzia Wind and its associated switchyard. That includes the installation of more than 900 massive wind turbines, some of the biggest in the world, 10 substations, multiple operations and maintenance facilities, and more than 100 miles of wind generation transmission lines. Now, apparently this project will cost an enormous $5 billion and will power the needs of more than 3 million Americans. That's a lot of money, but that's a lot of people that will get electricity, renewable clean electricity that should last for decades. What I mean last for decades, what I mean is these wind turbines will last for many decades. Uh, there's this mythology out there that wind turbines will just suddenly break and be turned into scrap and then they become junk. That's not actually true. The reality is here, these new wind turbines that we're seeing are incredibly reliable and provide 
an insane amount of energy per turbine. As you can see, 900 turbines create enough energy for 3 million people. So this project will create 2,000 jobs and has an expected economic impact of $21 billion. It will come online in 2026. So one of the great things about these projects is they rarely run over costs. Nuclear power plants, they normally take five years longer, maybe 10 years longer than is what is expected. They almost always cost twice as much as the initial contract agreement. It's insane. The awesome thing here is with renewable energy, such as wind, the project costs are pretty much always the project costs. They very rarely run over cost and they very rarely run over time as well. The timeframes are incredibly good. These companies seem to be incredibly good at keeping to timeframes. What that means is in 2026, 3 million people will benefit from this renewable energy. And the great thing is the wind here, it's not, it's incredibly consistent in these areas. It's not really intermittent. So yes, there's gonna be times where there's gonna be less wind, but there's a, there's a surprisingly large amount of wind in this area, meaning when there's no sun in California, when the sun goes down, many millions of Californians and people in Phoenix, in Arizona will benefit from the wind blowing at night. It's great to see America heading in this direction. It's great to see the United States starting to install massive amounts of renewable energy. In fact, the amount of renewables being installed in the US just continues to climb every single year. I think this is something to celebrate. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.